Hey everyone, I'm at work. I'm testing my generator. This is the one I just got back from Sharps and I got it wired on on Saturday. It was kicking out like 13 volts, 13 plus volts, which was good. I drove it for like 15 minutes and then I noticed it was getting really hot and uh, the output wasn't very good. It was like 11, 11 and a half volts. So I actually have to take it and um, take it back up to Sharps and have them look at it. And I think it's my regulator. So I want to I want to tell you guys, show you guys how I came about that. I just looked on YouTube and I thought I would I would do a decent job of showing you guys. So I think it's my regulator. I've had nothing but problems with these new style regulators. Uh, they're made in China or Mexico or something. Um, but this is the second one I've had problems with. My first B gave me the same issues. <laughs> Anyway, so it got really hot. I was really worried. I fried the generator, but I don't think I did. And a quick test on how you can do that is obviously don't have your regulator hooked up at all. Um, so these two posts back here, that's your field post and that's your gin or your armature post. Undo your wires from there. Um, on this one, this is a 12 volt generator. So I had to have a 12 volt power source, which I just took from like a battery jumper pack. And I hooked a positive up to the armature post, which is A. Um, it has an A back here. It's kind of painted over. And then I hooked a ground anywhere on this. And whenever you do that, it basically becomes a starting motor. And it will turn on its own. And you know you're pretty much good whenever this starts spinning, spinning, spinning. And this one did. So I think my problem lies in the regulator. I don't really want to drive 40 minutes after work to go drop it off again, um, but I got to figure out what's going on because I don't want to fry my generator, which I just paid $175 for. Um, and another quick overview on polarizing it, you're going to touch, well, that's where your battery cable goes, so that's your power. You're going to touch power to your gin, or, you know, since this right here runs to your armature it's power to your armature just for a quick second to your little spark and then you're polarized um, I had started out running this thing negative ground and it was doing okay um, but I think I'm gonna stick with positive ground because that's the way these things were made and uh, I just I, I gotta minimize you know my problems here because I don't know what's going on I'm really worried that I fried it um, so hopefully it's just a quick adjustment in the regulator and we'll see if it's charging. I can't do it here. This is just a lawnmower shop. Um, so I'm going to go take it back up to them and, and see if I can make sure that the voltage output is anywhere between, I think it's 13 and 14 volts is what it needs to be. So thanks for watching.